Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Pop OS. Uh, log on to um, the internet and uh, go to a web browser and open pop.system76.com. System76 are a PC manufacturer that have been manufacturing laptops and PCs um, specifically for Linux for a number of years, and Pop OS is their operating system um, that um, they've devised um, for their machines so uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing it's, it's a desktop operating system that's supposed to be easy to use um, for most modern hardware so what we're going to do is we're going to download it and so to download it um, we click this link here And you'll see it's got three options, Download LTS, uh, NVIDIA, and Raspberry Pi. So if you've got NVIDIA card in your machine, click on the NVIDIA one. If you're doing it for Raspberry Pi, do Raspberry Pi. This isn't for Raspberry Pi, this video. Um, so uh, for everyone else, uh, it's just Download LTS. So um, click that. And that will start a download in the bottom left corner. And uh, then what we need to do is install Belina Etcher. So go to etcher.io and this is the software that you need to use to create a USB drive. Um, if you've followed any of my other installation guides, um, this software will already be part of that, so you should have it already on your machine. If you haven't found uh, if you haven't run any of my guides before for um, installing Linux, then you need to click this download link here. And then you click the version relative to your operating system. So if you're using Windows, it's probably the top link that you want to use. And you click that download link and it will download in the bottom left corner. Uh, once the downloads are complete, um, go to your Windows Explorer. And go to Downloads folder. And then you'll see there's a Belina Vetcher and a Pop OS. Double click on this Belina Etcher and that will pop up this screen here. Click I agree. By the way, uh, you will need to insert a USB drive at this point. I, ex I recommend one with at least four gigabytes of space. So insert that into your PC now. And then f f when Etcher starts, click on flash from file. Go to your downloads and pick the Pop OS. Select target and you're going to select the USB drive. Make sure it's um, the one that you're using. Click select and then click on flash. And the process will start. As you can see, it says it's going to take about seven or eight minutes. It's probably going to take a bit longer than that because it's a two step process. You've got flashing first and then after that it does a verification step. And we'll restart the video once this process has completed. For me, it'll be about 15 minutes. For you, it'll be instant. When the process is complete, you'll see a screen like this one. So what you can do now is you can take out the USB drive and put it in the computer you want to um, install Pop OS in, uh, onto and uh, boot that computer. If it's a computer that you're using, you'll have to well, one, make sure you do a backup first of everything and then reboot your computer. When you boot up, press the F7 key on your keyboard to bring up the boot menu. And then choose the first disk. Or choose the one that matches your USB drive. And you'll see this try or install Pop OS message. Click that. Okay, so this is Pop OS, um, the live USB. Um, now, if we want to install um, Pop OS, first things first, let's look at the internet situation. You can see I've got a wire connected, Wi Fi not connected. If I click on the Wi Fi connected, select network, uh, you can see there's networks available. So my Wi Fi card is working fine. Um, so that's how you would connect to your internet. Now the weird thing is, it shows the network icon here. 
but it doesn't actually sh let you choose the network. You have to right click on the top right bit to choose the network. And then you click there, select your network, choose your network, click connect and enter your password. And that's how you'd get to the internet. Um, the mo most important thing though is to start the installer. So uh, click on this icon here that says install pop OS. You only have to click once. And here we are, select a language. It's already picked English for me, but obviously if you want something else, the whole list there. Uh, click next. Uh, click select. And then it's asking uh, which variety of English you want. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose United Kingdom. Click select. And the keyboard layout again. Choose the keyboard layout for your particular country. So in this case, I've got a UK keyboard. <laughs> uh, and now it's, which of the UK keyboard layouts do you want? So default. Um, so depending on your current setup, if you've already got an operating system installed, uh, it might ask you whether you want to install alongside. If you're wanting to do a clean install, you can just click the clean install button uh based on my video that's coming out to do it with wiping my hard drive um that's why i've only got a clean install or a custom advanced option i have no other operating system on this on this machine at the minute so i'm going to choose clean install and i'm going to click the clean install button and it's asking me where i want to put it and i'm going to choose the default option and then I'm going to click erase and install and then it's asking me to set up a username so if I put my full name in there and a username there and then click next and then choose a password I always choose a simple password in these videos. It's not my real password that I ever use. It's, I use password managers or um, far more complicated passwords. So click next. Um, you can encrypt your drive. Um, it's up to you whether you do this or not. I'm going to choose not to. Or encryption password is the same as the user account password. So in my case, I'm going to have that or you can choose to don't encrypt. Um, basically, if your machine gets stolen, somebody doesn't have access to your data if it's encrypted. Uh, the danger is is that you lose a password and you can't get <laughs> unencrypt your own data. So um, personally, I'm going to choose don't encrypt. And now you can see it's partitioning in the drive and it's going to start installing Pop OS. As you can see, the partition bit's finished. It's now extracting the files to my drive. It's now configuring the system. As you can see, we're 70% through the process. Finally, it gets to a bit where it says finishing the installation. Finally, you get to this screen. Um, what I found about the installation was it wasn't very verbose. It didn't really tell you what's going on. There's a little button like that that you can press and it'll scroll up some text. Um, but it seemed to get stuck at various stages um, but it eventually got here um, so now you've got a choice of shut, shutting down or restarting your device um, or you can continue um, doing other things um, so at this point restart your device take out the USB drive um, and then you should be able to boot into Pop OS here I am at the login screen so I'll click here into my password so when you first boot into pop os this is the screen you come to and you can see you have a choice of how the dock looks so you can have no dock at all so the dock is the bit at the bottom so you have no dock you have dock extensed edges like it does there um, or you can have it like this which is dock doesn't extend to edges 
So you can have this, you can have this, or you can have this. Personally, I prefer this option. I know a lot of people don't like docks at all, um, but that's the choice I'm going to make here. You'll see I've got some system updates to install as well. Um, you need your internet connection. Now, I just said that earlier that that doesn't actually do anything to do with the internet. To get to the internet, you need this top right corner here. Right click. Um, I'm on a wired internet, but if you want wireless, click on there. Select network, and then you can choose the network of your choice. So that one, and then I can click connect, and it would ask me for my password for my Wi-Fi. Um, so I've clicked uh, uh, Doc doesn't extend to edges. I'm going to click next. And it says configure the top bar. Um, so you've got the show workspaces button, which is this one here, which um, enables you to see all the workspaces that you're using. Um, show applications button, which is this, um, which brings up all your applications. Incidentally, that's the same as this button here. So you may or may not want that. And uh, date and time, notification position um, is centered. You can make it left, or you can make it right, um, but I'm going to leave it in the center, and then we click Next. So click Next again. You can use gestures for easy navigation. And then there's the appearance, dark or light. Uh, a lot of people like dark mode, but if you like light mode, then you click this. And it's a much brighter thing. Um, actually, I prefer the light mode, so I'm going to put it onto light mode. And um, like I said earlier, you, you set up your internet in the top right corner, but it's actually letting than you do it here. I'm on a wide network, so I'm going to skip this. And then you've got privacy settings. Um, and this determines whether um, applications can see where you are in the world. I'm going to leave mine turned off. And then you can select your time zone. So it's already picked up that I'm in the UK. <laughs> That's chosen the Faroe Islands. I'm in the Faroe Islands. I'm a man. Uh, London. Well, I'm a bit further north than London, but that's the closest time zone wise. And then you can set up online accounts to easily access email, online, calendar, etc. I'm going to skip that for now. And then we're all done and it says you can start using pop os so i click that and we are good to go and that is the end of the video uh, that's how you install pop os if you like the video give it a thumbs up um, please consider subscribing to everyday linux user and thank you for watching